so I've got my hands on a Casio S1 calculator. So this is probably from the 80s and it's got a VFD display. So I remember having something similar in the early 80s as a kid. Unfortunately, it's uh, no longer around, largely because I probably destroyed it somehow. Um, this one is most likely a newer model to the one that I had previously. So I'm just going to turn it on. So we've got display there and which just does, works like a normal calculator, but this was from back in the days when VFD displays were used. So these are vacuum fluorescent uh, tubes. So this technology predates the all familiar LCD display, which uh, kind of became popular from the late 80s onwards. And it's basically what all calculators use up to today. So one of the downsides to VFD displays are they consume quite a bit of um, energy so a simple calculator like this needs four double a batteries so six volts as you can see there six volts four double a batteries so i've stuck four lithium double a batteries in there and they all need about four double a batteries because of the uh, high voltage that the uh, display needs so it also comes with this linear power supply so the output is about 4.5 volts at 300 milliamps so i guess uh, being able to run it on uh, four batteries um, uh, well what i'm trying to say is it, it probably work with three batteries but four batteries will probably give it a longer uh, run time before they need to be replaced um, yep good old linear power supply S seems to be something loose in there but um I don't know, haven't, haven't uh, turned it on. Anyway, um, so the reason these calculators were replaced by LCD uh, display ones so is, is very simple. Um, quite simply, the LCD ones consume so much less power and um, I'm sure you know that LCD calculators don't even need batteries. So a lot of them just have a tiny uh, solar panel on the, uh, the face and as long as you're using it, um, under under fluorescent light indoors um, as long as the solar panel isn't obstructed they work perfectly fine um, and also because they consume so little energy um, a lot of them were also powered by button cell batteries uh, so the lcd display was also used in uh, uh, watches when they became popular and up to today you get them in a lot of uh, watches like Casio g-shock watches uh, etc so um, brilliant piece of technology, um, very power efficient. Uh, this one, however, is very retro. Yes. Yeah, so the other thing I was going to mention is the reason I know this is a newer model compared to the uh, the one that I had is the early model Casio VF VFD displays only use half the uh, half the the segment to display uh, the zero digit. So uh, what I mean by that is if if we have um number like that you'll see that the zero actually cuts off right in the middle so the top bit just imagine the top bit is uh, isn't there so it looks as though it's 8.999 but it's actually zero so it's only in the later uh, versions where Casio started to use the full eight segment display to represent a zero and also from what I remember the uh, the one at the head seemed to be a little more yellowish on the uh, body so I'm still trying to find uh, you know one that actually has that half segment zero on ebay and if i do find it i'm going to buy it and these are quite cheap these days only about nine ten quid really great collector's item so just before ending the video let me just do a quick you know some kind of complicated math just to see how long the uh, processor takes to compute that so if i do a square root of that for example So you can see it takes maybe a few hundred milliseconds to work out the, the result. So um, not too bad for uh, decades old technology, I would say. I remember the one I had is actually a bit slower than this. All right, anyway, that's it.
Thanks for watching.